Let's start learning how we can add words and dialogue and captions and stuff to our comics. That'll make it look, um, I mean, good captions and dialogue it can make your comic look very professional and bad captions and bad dialogue. Um, I mean, the actual writing, the font and stuff will, can make your comic look very unprofessional. So let's see uh, how we can do that. The text tool is the A. And it may also be on the flash, like I said from earlier. And the first setting is text, which is what we're going to look at first. And it gives us this cursor that when we click, uh, we're going to be able to write words with. It's actually set on vertical direction. We're going to change it to horizontal. But before we even do that, we see this thing called font. And fonts are just the types of uh, lettering that we're using. Uh, let me just show you a few to give so you know what I'm talking about. I'm sure you, you do, but if I just put in uh, a few words, I think I'll get a better idea. So if I have like a word, like word, you can see that. It's way too small. Word, very blurry word. Okay, so this is obviously a, uh, a very unusual font that you don't see very often. You're not gonna see this in the newspaper unless it's an ad for an optometrist or something. but there are thousands of fonts that you can add to your program to include in your comics, which is great. It, uh, variety can be good, but sometimes you also want consistency and um, you may pick one that you like the most. There are many fonts out there that are, some you can get for free, some you can pay for, but you may want to add more to what your computer naturally uh, comes with. It has like a certain range of fonts that are included, but there are plenty more that you can add, and uh, I'll show you how to do that right now with some free fonts. I just basically uh, searched online for free fonts, and a lot of websites come up. You can go to any of these and uh, download some free fonts. So let me just go to one and check out uh, some free fonts. And some of them are specifically labeled for comics, like comic, for example. It's really up to you. Like, if I wanted to use one of these LCD fonts, I could do that. So let me let me pick one of these uh, Alien Encounters. Okay, so I just download it and save it somewhere on my computer that I can find it easily. And uh, I'll just put it here with my other course materials. And I go to it, and it it usually arrives in a zip file. And they do this because often they'll include. A, you know a bold version of the font and an italicized version of the font and they're I think they're actually considered different fonts because it's yeah well it's complicated but let's see what we have yeah so we have several different versions of the same font in kind of a different form and you can either use an extract extraction program to extract these I'll just copy them out um, just gonna control C and drag them out into here for a second. And now I'm gonna drag them. Actually, let me open this first. So somewhere on your computer, it may be different on depending on your system, whether you have a Mac or a PC, but somewhere there's a folder that has fonts. And if you go to that folder, you'll see all the fonts that you have on your computer. So these are the ones that I've already installed or that came with the computer. I'm going to select all these. Oops. Hold down shift and select them all. And then I'm just going to drag them in to that fonts folder and release them. And they load up. Now the thing about uh, Clip Studio Paint or Manga Studio is that when you add a font like that, it will not show up right away you have to actually restart the program. So I'm gonna close this. Not save it. And just close program. And then reopen it. And I'm gonna full size it. And just get a piece of paper. Okay, so now when I uh, Go to my fonts. I have, I'm going to look for that one that I just put in there. It's called Alien Encounter. And where is it? Uh, 
alien encounters, encounters, excuse me. And we have two kind of options. And then from these options, we can make them bold or italic. That's where all those other ones, they're kind of implanted in here. So let me look at it and change back to vertical. So I'm going to change it to horizontal and make it a lot larger. Okay, so now when I type word, we get our alien encounters font. So that is how you add a font to your system and use it in Manga Studio or Clip Studio Paint.